Today we have with us Shai Agassi, the CEO and founder of Better Place. Better Place is a company created to change the world's auto market. Uh, Shai is trying to bring electric cars to countries around the world by changing how you buy and how you charge and drive your car. Um, the plan is in works in, in Israel, Australia, Denmark, Hawaii is doing a test, and uh, other places around the world are all evaluating Shai's technology. So explain the, the idea of the pricing now. Uh, are you still planning on selling these cars at a steep discount and people pay for the miles then? Ha, ha, what's the current economics of buying the car? So we've always said that if you wanted to get electric cars to be um, adopted in mass volume, you need to make the car cheaper than a gasoline car and it needs to be as convenient or more convenient than a gasoline car. We, we take care of the convenience issue uh, with the, the switch stations and the charging uh, that you get at home and at work. Uh, we take care of the price by separating between the car and the battery. In effect, you don't pay for the battery. We, Better Place, own your, your battery. It's not really yours. It's, it's uh, a collection of batteries, and you can switch and, and go um, as you want, much like propane tanks, um, as you do today with, with propane tanks. We, most people sort of said, you know, I wouldn't want to switch my battery because it's new and I don't know what I'm going to get. It doesn't really matter. It's not your battery. It's never been your battery. Uh, what it does is it allows us to charge you what you would pay for gasoline. Uh, on a per mile basis, so the same as you would drive today, and you, you know you pay in, in Europe at seven dollars a gallon, uh, divided by the number of gallons you'd make on the uh, number of miles you make on the car, on the, on the gallon, etc. Um, and then by making you pay what you pay for gasoline, we give you a discount on the car itself. The discount depends on how long you're you're signing up for the miles, much like you do with minutes on your phone. The longer you sign up, the bigger of a discount you're going to get on the car. And we believe that there's a, a, a point um, in which these, these electric cars, the car itself actually gets cheaper to produce um, it, when the volume kicks up. Because today we're, we're tens of thousands of cars compared to tens of millions of gasoline cars. But when you get to about a million, two million cars, uh, the price of an electric car, the cost to build a material is cheaper. And that makes sense in a... European or Israeli model where the gas is that price, but I think a lot of skeptics have looked at your business and said, in the U.S., most consumers are considered expensive today. It's very cheap by world standards. Yes. Can what you're doing work in the U.S.? Will it work in the U.S.? Well, in, obviously in the U.S., gasoline is about half as much as it is in, in, uh, in Europe. It's actually cheaper than China. I mean, believe it or not, we're, we're underpricing gasoline compared to even China. If that changes or doesn't change, is not in our, in our hands. What we do see is that for specific segments, I'll give you an example, taxis um, that drive a lot on a day-to-day -day basis. So a, a double shift taxi does about 200, 250 miles. The economics for going electric are ab absolutely there today, even on three and a half dollar gallon. Um, the more you drive, the more of an economic benefit we get to getting you off of, uh, off of oil. And when you launched, the U.S. economy was in, the world economy was in a much different place than it is today. Does it change better places' chances of survival? No, I think unlike, unlike most other plans that have come into this space, we didn't build our plan on the amount of CO2 we're going to save. Mm -hmm. we, we built this plan on pure economics. We came from the original assumption that said if the Toyota Prius was not $3,500 more expensive than the Toyota Corolla, but $3,500 cheaper than the Toyota Corolla, most people would have bought Prius. Right? You, you'd get over your fear of something new, and then you sort of switch because it's cheaper. It's just you know, plain economics. Uh, if you can make an electric car that's $3,000, $5,000 cheaper to the consumer than a regular gasoline car, the market will switch. It may take two, three years to get over the fear and the idea, etc. but eventually the market will tip towards the cheaper product. Um, because we're going in that direction, whether the economics, the, the general broader sense of the economy is, um, is bad or good doesn't really matter. If it's good, we get to feel good. I want to do something good for the world buyer, and if it gets worse, it's the I want to save. Uh, I want to save a penny, buyer. But in both cases, we get the right buyers.